Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. I'm going to talk about one of the new features we have in Beersmith 2, which is actually fermentation profiles. So I'm going to click on the Profiles tab up here, click on Fermentation, and you can see we've got a number of preloaded fermentation uh, profiles that you can use and apply directly to your beer. And you can actually apply these just by selecting a fermentation profile from within the recipe designer. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But first, uh, let's take a look at some of these profiles. So let's, for, for example, let's look at a uh, single stage uh, ale profile. I'm going to open that up, and you can see we've got a fermentation stage, and then we've got an aging stage, so fairly simple. But you can enter the starting and ending temperatures and the time length uh, that you want to use for, for, for these here. And you can create your own fermentation profiles if you like. So if you're really into uh, how, working on how you age and store your beer, you can, uh, you can create your own right from here just by using this tool. Uh, if we look at a more advanced one, like a three-stage ale, uh, you can see it's got, again, several stages, uh, a fairly simple thing. Loggers get a little more advanced because typically you're, you're adjusting the temperatures and you have ramps and so on. So uh, here we might be doing a dicetal rest, for example, at 62 degrees for a lager. So, I mean, those are just some examples of the preloaded profiles, and you can go in and create your own fermentation profiles if you like as well. So I'm going to close that tab, and we're going to go back and actually open up a recipe and take a look at its fermentation profile. I can do that just by opening the recipe. And if I want to, I can apply a new fermentation profile down here at the bottom just by clicking on the button and picking one that I like. So, for example, uh, let's say we want to go with a three-stage ale profile for this particular one. So we're going to go through a three-stage uh, fermentation. And now if I click over to the fermentation tab, you can see, uh, again, it's got the full fermentation displayed. In addition, it's got a lot of detail about the actual fermentation and boil. So here you've got uh, parameters on the boil. You can enter measured boil volume and measured boil original gravity, for example. Uh, into the fermenter, you can calculate your brew house efficiency from here. You can enter your fermentation and storage uh, gravities, for example. And then you can enter parameters for bottling and kegging. So this sort of covers the whole thing from boiling all the way to bottling and kegging on this one screen. And down at the bottom, you also get statistics on your beer as, you, uh, as you're tracking it. It'll, it'll calculate the basic numbers for you. That's basically it on fermentation profiles, a very nice feature. Uh, once you set one up, you can use it over and over again in any recipe that you want just by clicking on it. So a great way to get started with Beersmith 2. If you're interested in learning more about home brewing, or if you want to download a free copy, a free trial copy of Beersmith 2, please visit our website at beersmith.com.